From ag-related automation to beautiful natural resources, we're committed to advancing you and putting the region on the map. Green Seam is here to shape the future of agricultural, business, and communities where fertile land meets technology and people come together to feed the world. We are Green Seam. Well, welcome back to the Green Seam Show. Today we have Sam and Marcus Moore with us. Marcus is uh, going to be a junior here over at Mankato West, and we're really excited to have him share a little bit more about his story and and you know what what he thinks of food and ag. And he comes from more of a traditional background. So I'm going to turn it over to Marcus, and if you could just tell me a little bit about who you are and where you grew up and how you got involved with food and ag. Yeah, uh, my name is Marcus Moore, and I grew up on a farm south of Mapleton. Um, we farmed originally about 2,500 acres, so I grew up on a small family farm. Um, I've been fortunate enough that our farm's grown to about 5,000 acres now, so I've gotten to see that transformation and always been interested in ag. Um, I go to Mankato West, and I was originally going to go back to Maple River, but once I found that we have an ag program new from Dado, um, decided to stay and took the ag program, took the ag class and got interested in FFA. All my cousins were in FFA. My dad was in FFA. Everybody's been in FFA. Is, is it any different now than what it was when your dad and relatives were in FFA? No. <clears throat> um, our program's a little bit different because we don't have any of the traditional stuff, um, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, just it, a little different. It's pretty cool that you got to have, you know, be the first part of a FFA or not even FFA, but ag program at the Mankato High Schools that they hadn't had for 25 years. So it's pretty fortunate that program came back. Yeah, I got pretty lucky with that one. It timed out just about perfect. Uh, when I started my freshman year, it was the first year of the ag program. So I get all four years. And, and now yeah. you jumped right in. You're an officer now of FFA as well, right? Yep, I'm going to be the vice president this year. Uh, last year I was the treasurer, so excited to move up. And yeah. so, so what what opportunities has those ag classes and you know gave you? I mean, has it expanded your you know thoughts and minds? Yeah, my knowledge has definitely grown on the ag field. Um, I got a small window in the farming industry, um, but it's nice to see other industries in the mm -hmm. broader ag industry, and it's pretty cool to see. So what else has that program led you? I mean, what else has Ethan had kind of showed you or talked to you in a new program coming from, you know, he's got a background of dairy, right? And we're in that area where there's not a lot of dairy, but I know he's also brought in horticulture and other aspects into your program as well. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, some of the fields that you wouldn't think about being in agriculture, um, learn a lot about um, dairy being one. I mean, obviously it's in the ag field, but Around here, you don't see very many dairy farms, so it's interesting to see Dato's uh, perspective on that. So, so taking it from there, you're a junior, okay? You're going to graduate in two years. What's next? What what opportunities do you see in ag? Um, I personally kind of want to go back on the farm, but uh, as far as education after high school, I'm not really sure yet. Um, two year, maybe four year, we'll see. But uh, I might go into a different field. Who knows? And you have that ability and you've kind of shown it. I mean, and your farm um, has other cousins involved and they're doing other things besides farming, right? They're farming and something else, right? Yep. So the ability or option to do things is pretty wide open, right? Yeah, like my cousin, uh, he does insurance and then he also helps on the farm. Uh, my other cousin worked for Crystal Valley for, or he does work for Crystal Valley and also helps on the farm. So mm -hmm. it's interesting to see that uh, other people have different jobs but are able to help on the farm as well. That's really important. Even I, I grew up in small town Truman and I always found myself helping out on the farm. You know, not as much of a farm kid, but, you know, when it came time to harvest and everything else, I was there to help out. And, and so, you know, how can people maintain these dual careers, if you will? How can they help out on the farm? How, so, how can they be an insurance agent? How can they be in real estate? How can they be in technology or work with Crystal Valley? And so it's, uh, it's exciting to, to learn that there's opportunities like that. So I got a question for you. So you're in a high school where you don't see a lot of students like yourself that grew up on a farm wants to go on to farming. So how do you have that conversation with other students to say, hey, you should take this ag class? Uh, it's definitely challenging because nobody knows anything about agriculture really at West, um, apart from like five people who are in FFA at the moment. Um, but it just starts with finding common interests. Um, some of them like flowers something as simple as that and you can get them connected through that um 
other people, I mean, ag is interesting, so it's, people are interested in it, and if you convince them long enough, they'll eventually do it. It's it's fun to see that program grow, and then FFA to start the same time that the new ag classes start. And, you know, FFA, you always think of Future Farmers of America, but today it's FFA is the logo, it's the brand, and it's all about leadership. And, in fact, it's the largest leadership entity in the world, if I know the numbers right. And it's over 500,000 students involved in FFA. Yep. It's huge. It's awesome. But So you talked a little bit about what's interesting to other people and that they literally don't know anything about food and ag. What is interesting to those other people right now when they're, when they're not considering, you know, uh, opportunities or that, you know, what, what we're surrounded by, you know, in, in agriculture and food, what, what are they thinking about? What's cool to them? Agriculture is cool to you, but like you said, it's not cool to everybody. Um, I think a lot of people have interest in uh, the floriculture industry is a big one. Um, and then just simple like food uh, production, stuff like that, where agriculture ties into that a lot, and there's some pretty cool jobs in that industry. So I think people get pretty interested in that. So people that aren't going directly into food or ag, are they going into manufacturing? Do they want to be a doctor? Do they want to be a lawyer? Do they want to work construction? What, 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 what do people want to do your age right now? What's exciting? I don't really know. No? Uh, <laughs> I just stay in my lane, but uh, I don't know. So on that same topic, if there's others that are you know, watching this and listening today, what would you tell them? Just to try an ag program? What, what class would you tell them to start with? Or, or if they're afraid because they're like, hey, I'm not, I'm not like you. I didn't grow up on a farm, so I don't know if I fit I'm in. I'm a city kid. What, what yeah. would you tell them? Uh, take the first class, Intro to AF and R, covers about everything, and then once you take that class, you can kind of get a perspective of what's all there, and then take uh, more advanced classes in the industry that you like. And a- AF and R is Ag, Food, Natural Resources, right? Yep. So that covers everything from the crop side to animals to forestry so and water, even too. Yep. yep. Everything. Okay. So that would be the first class they take. Take that as soon as they can, right? If they can take it as a freshman, great. If they take it later on, great as well right yeah and even people are interested in being like in the dnr and stuff like that like you don't typically think of agriculture in that but it's a super important class for going gotcha. into something like that gotcha so if you take those classes start that out and then what classes are you looking forward to taking this year uh i'm taking uh plant production so we're doing in that new greenhouse setting everything up uh growing plants and then i'm also doing ag mechanics which is a really fun class that I'm interested in this year where we're going to be working with new technology and also just general maintenance on ag equipment. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate you sharing your thoughts today and coming to participate in the the Green Seam show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Now, if anybody has any questions regarding FFA and to connect with you, do you have an email or do you want them to to send you a text? What's the best way for people to get in touch with you? Boy, I don't know. Through uh, Ethan? <laughs> yeah, probably through Ethan, definitely. So if they just connect with Ethan Dotto, yeah. who's the yeah. instructor at uh, Mankato High School, that'd be great. Yeah, I think that'd be both. Excellent. We'll make it happen. Well, thanks for joining us today, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you.